Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk straight from Point Magoo, California, and today we're going to do a video review of Macross VF19 Custom Fire Valkyrie. This is 165th or 165th scale, made in 2001. Yeah, Bandai, made in Japan. Wow, <laughs> still made them in Japan. I remember back in '87 they didn't made they made them in China. Uh, the Transformers, anyways. Uh, Macross VF19 Fire Valkyrie. I don't know exactly what series that is, that's the side of the box. Uh, just like anything else, you have a fighter war mode, Gerwalk mode, Batroid mode. Uh, yeah, I don't know what series this is. This is back in the, I don't know that era. Do you remember Love? No, just regular Macross 94. So it's a new Macross, very nondescript box. Uh, it's freaking huge, but unfortunately it's very little die cast. I mean, just to show you, there it is. I'm going to just set it across the wall so you can see my favorite mech of all time. So you can see how freaking huge that is. That's against... Yeah, that's 155th scale right there. That was uh, Jetfire back in the day, Skyfire, whatever you want to call it. So this thing is freaking huge. Simplistic to transform too. Uh, I love the bright red. Can't deal with that. I uh, wish it had more paint apps, stickers, something. It's kind of plain plain looking uh, it does have a little bit of die cast and as you can see this uh, gun is actually a plastic piece you'll break it in two it has maroon color there breaks up the red but I wish there was a lot more red I mean this is typical of a fighter Macross uh, you're gonna have all the undercarriage junk the legs spread out like that the arms spread like that this is just it's just how it's been for like the past 30 years or whatever 25 whatever gold maroon so you got a nice little gladiator shield or something and I love how the head they disguise the head by having to have a little wing over there uh, in fact there's a no tail wing oddly enough it has a little cantilevered wings for the elevator ailerons and well no ailerons but you know uh, back in the back and it tabs in pretty well I like how it tabs in very good crease lines I wish I had more molding something like that because it's like 65 bucks I guess if you want to get the Yamato version yeah, go ahead and shell out the 250 bucks. Yeah, the landing gear, that's a little bit of die cast. Yeah, it's kind of flimsy, uh, but it is what it is, you know. So, I mean, it's not that bad. It looks good. Uh, you know, it's not bad. Not great. Canopy doesn't open up, does it? I'm not, I didn't see it in the instructions. And that's all you get is a pair of instructions, so I'm not even going to bother showing you that. So, very sparse. Yeah, I'll give it six and a half out of, for the effort. And the transformation is just like anything else if you oh yeah it has a gerwalk mode so let's do that gonna pop in the uh, landing gear yeah and uh, that one goes down up so yeah gerwalk mode just like anything else just pop this up move the untab the arms there's a little tab here which is nice yeah that's it and just move the arms up okay Okay, the legs just split apart, and I do like how there's like two positions here. Yeah, I mean, nothing horrible. I mean, go walk move is pretty standard. Now you want to move these in, so if you want, there we go. Get rid of that, and put the wings back. Oh yeah, it's bend it down a little bit more, that's a thing, it has to lean. There we go, lean, lean, fighting machine. Ugh, it's having difficulty. There we go. Spread those things apart. Yeah. There we go. It's being a pain in the, you know where. Oops. Dang it. I had it nice and pretty. This freaking gun is huge. So yeah, Gerwalk mode, just like anything else. Kind of impeded. And from there, you can go ahead and transform them. And it's not that difficult a transformation. Just like any other robot that you've seen like hundreds of times, right? All right, first of all, the head, there's a little latch over here, pops back in, rotate that sucker back. And yeah, I love the little lightning decals, this is cool. And I mean, it's a little unique, the transformation, cause you're gonna bend that down, these, the wings go down, and the transformation is a little bit unique because this whole the whole back part actually collapses right on top of the canopy and that collapses right on top of that. So yeah, the, the little chest piece, nice maroon undercarriage there, just tabs in and 
the little landing gear actually taps in a little notch underneath the nose there so it's okay and the, the legs don't extend so they don't there's no hip movement right there so the wings you can just push them pull them back see how they ex retract and just pull them back so they get out of the way and that's pretty much it it's a skinny dude skinny dude uh, let me show you the articulation which is pretty typical shoulder rotates 360 bicep swivel single joint on the elbow uh, wrist swivel so that's pretty unique I mean slightly better than something that was made back in 1982 wow it is 30 years old man I feel old no uh, hip swivel uh, let's see head dust swivel uh, we got a weird double jointed knee there or for lack of a better term kind of like a chicken whatever <laughs> does have ankle pivot and of course the heel spur so huge figure huge figure I measured it sucker measures about 10 inches actually about nine and a half inches to there it adds a little three quarters of an inch because of the damn tail wing over there so let me show you the head because I am digging the head so you can see that I love the little lightning stripes for you San Diego fans <laughs> bolts <laughs> excuse me yeah huge figure just to show you uh, I'm just going to have this rating I'm going to transform jet file off screen here so you can see a quick size comparison uh, so what were we talking about let me give him my, his rating real quick I like this mode I mean I wish it had more freaking color or what you call it paint apps yeah <laughs> all that cricketing as you see or here in the background is me furiously trying to transform there we go for a size comparison so they're about the same size uh, as you can see mr. fire Valkyrie is about just a tad bit taller I mean a touch so there you go what can I say I wish it was better I paid 65 bucks for it if you want to get the Yamato version pay 250 for it it's probably a lot better has a lot more die cast give it six and a half out of ten too that's all I got youtubers and I catch you all next time